How's it going guys? Here with Carolina Shore Fishing. We just made it out on the Merles Inlet Jetty. Probably about 20 minutes ago getting set up here. We've got a couple rods out right now. Jake and I picked up a couple of uh, decent combos here. Battle 3, Pen Battle 3 combos. So both of those out right now. Fish finder rig and a uh, fish head on there. So I've got a huge spot head on mine that I caught from yesterday and then croaker head on there that we caught yesterday as well so looking for a big drum shark ray something like that back over here and let me show you guys we've got the pop fork ready to go how's it going live shrimp stopped at perry's bait shop picked up four dozen of these jumbo live shrimp let me show you guys these are some big big shrimp here very nice looking shrimp there so got those working on the aerator and just wanted to take this time to remind you guys we have the uh, Carolina Shore Fishing Facebook Instagram all the social media pages we've also got a fishing reports group on Facebook Carolina fishing reports so if you ever want to share any of your catches out of the North or South Carolina you should do it there and we'd love to see it How's it going, Russell? Glad you can make it. I would try barnacle. I would try if you can find sand fleas. I haven't had any luck finding sand fleas, but I would try sand fleas. Here, let me get this rod out here. I would try sand fleas, barnacle, shrimp. So I'm going to put this one out. Stick it on a clicker real quick. And uh, let's see here, but yeah, just wanted to let you guys know we had all the uh, social media up for you guys. You can follow us, see what the uh, latest action is happening. And then on CarolinaShoreFishing.com, you can find all the piers from north to the bottom of South Carolina listed there for you. So we're planning to hit them all eventually. We did a little bit of fishing from Second Avenue yesterday. Yeah, ended up having to buy a uh, new rod and reels because fought for about an hour and 40 minutes we timed it. It was like a seven foot black tip shark and it completely stripped this reel. So it'll work for a little baby black drum and stuff, but nothing too big. Trout, all that good stuff. Let me uh, angle you guys up. But appreciate you all tuning in, and don't forget to like the video. It helps us out here, too. I think I moved you guys up way too high. What are we targeting today? We're going after flounder. We're going after puppy drum. We're going after black drum, trout, um, and then big red drum. How's it going, Ron? Glad you can make it. We yeah, really hoping to get on a good mix of fish here today. So I'm going to leave that popping cork kind of floating out there with a the live shrimp and then start throwing this mirror lure. Got the 17 MR. It's kind of like a mullet with a pink body to it. So see how that works. Right off the bat, it doesn't really cast too far. It's supposed to be suspending. Jake's over there fishing the surf side. I've got Jonathan with me, he's on the other side of the camera though.
shrimp on the popping pork looks really good. Just kind of floating, fluttering out there. Yeah, I appreciate you guys liking the video. Thank you. Won't be able to do a live for too long here because I need to have a working phone, especially out here. But it's uh, pretty much top of high tide right now, and we're going to be fishing mainly a falling tide. So I've had the best luck fishing a falling tide. So I'm pretty excited here. Probably gonna be moving a lot today on the jetty, not kind of fishing the same spot. <clears throat> Excuse me, not fishing the same spot too much here. Just try and locate some fish. They're out here. We've got the cast net to try and catch the mullet if we see him come through later. Wasn't able to find any sand fleas this week. I really wanted to. How's it going, guys? How are you? Good. snag line down there. That's what it felt like. Just grab another shrimp here.
Where do you guys like to hook your uh, shrimp? Tail? Head? I'm gonna try tail. That's what I've been doing. It's probably be the second time I fished live shrimp. Oh yes. Get him. Oh yeah. I haven't been able to see the uh boat yet. I haven't been looking out for that. Live shrimp's good for uh, drum and trout, flounder. Hopefully, we catch more than just toadfish with it. Caught my biggest toadfish yesterday. It was like this long. <laughs> had a had a head on it about that big. Already need another shrimp here. I'm down three shrimp, zero fish. I'll try this one by the head. That one stays up. Hey, a lot of boats coming in now. All right, guys, I think that's all I'm going to do here for the live. Make sure to stay tuned for an actual video that will come out of here to see how we do. But that's going to be all for now. Keeping an eye on that cork out there. Yeah, I've got a good feeling. As soon as this tide starts falling. But all right, appreciate you guys tuning in. And stay tuned.